Hello everyone and welcome back to Unbound Learners Pre-K. My name is Dina. What's your name? It's so nice to meet you. Let's sing our good morning song together. We'll stretch our arms out like airplane wings. Fly to one side. Fly over to the other side. Fly back to the middle. Now take your airplane wings into a big circle out in front of you. Stretch up over your head. Let's stretch on this side, over on the other side. One last stretch up at the top. And now we'll bring the circle back down and sing. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, friends, and happy Friday. I hope that you're having a wonderful day so far. Before we get started on the calendar and weather chart, we have three things to do. Number one, let's turn on our listening ears. Number two, let's put on our thinking hats. So you look for your thinking hat. My thinking hat is over here. I'm going to put it on top of my head. Today my thinking hat has a ribbon underneath my chin, so I'm going to tie it up into a bow. And the final thing that we need to do is warm up our hearts, like this. Boom, 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 boom. So let's do a double check. Listening ears are on, thinking hats are on, hearts are all warmed up. Now we can get started. I have my pointing stick, and behind me, we have the calendar and weather chart. So let's go over the date first. We'll start off with the month, which is right up here. What's the month? August, that's right, the month is August. Today is August 20th. I'll move the chip over from yesterday. Yesterday was August 19th. Today is August 20th, and right up here we have the year. There are two ways that you can say the year. You can say that it's 2021, or you can say that the year is 2021. Both of those ways are correct. Friends, today we have a lot of counting to do because we have had so many days so far in the month of August. Let's use our counting fingers. We'll give them a big stretch. Let's also take a deep breath in together. And let's get counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20. We counted 20 days that we've had in the month of August. Great job counting with me, friends. Now let's hold up seven fingers for each one of the seven days in our week. If you know the words to this song, sing along with me. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Let's travel down to the bottom of the chart and go over the days together. Here's the first sound. Yesterday was th Thursday. So that means that today is th Friday, the last day of the weekday. Tomorrow will be th Saturday, the first day of the weekend. But let's go back and will you sing Today is Friday with me? It goes like this. Today is Friday, today is Friday, today is Friday, all day long. Today is Friday, today is Friday, today is Friday, all day long. Now let's go back up to the top of the chart and go over the season. What's the season, friends? Summer, that's right, it's summertime for a few more weeks. 
And if we travel back down to the bottom of the chart, that means that it's time to sing the weather song together. And then we can share what we see outside of the window. What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? So today where I live, it's another mostly sunny day with a little bit of clouds in the sky. My temperature chart is still on orange because it's warm today. Warm and mostly sunny with a few clouds. What do you see outside of your window? Thanks for sharing the weather with me. Now let's move on to the letter, the number, and the sign of the week. Because today is Friday, it will be the last day talking about this capital letter. Remember, this letter makes two sounds. Will you make the short sound with me? Ah. Uh, and what about the long sound? What does that sound like? Oh. And what letter is this? Oh, that's right. This is an uppercase O. O says ah and O. Oh. Now it's time to guess what I have today inside of the letter box. So it's actually way too big to fit inside of the letter box. But here's your first clue. This is something that starts with the letter ah, O. Oh. This is something that you find in the kitchen. It's an appliance, and it's used for baking. It gets really, really hot. What's it called? An oven. Oven starts with the letter O. An oven is found in the kitchen, and it's used for baking. This is how you write in uppercase, ah, O. Oh. One more time. Here is the number of the week. What number is this, friends? 12, that's right. This double digit number is 12. When you write the number 12, first you write the number one, and then you write the number two, 12. Now let's count to the number 12 together using the large bead frame. This week we're going to count to the number 12 using the large bead frame. In order to count to 12, we need two units. One, two, and one ten. Twelve. Let's take a peek inside of the number box and see what we have to count today. Because it's Friday, I have some acorns. I actually have the tops of acorns. And as I count them, I'll line them up across the top to see how many there are. Will you count with me, friends? One, two, three, four, five, six, halfway there, seven, eight, these two are connected, nine and 10, 11, 12. 12 acorn tops, and look at that. They fit perfectly across the top of the box. Next week, I think I'm going to have to make another row in order for all of the acorn tops to fit. But this week, we counted 12. Because today is Friday, it will also be the last day saying paint in sign language. Remember friends, sign language is a language that uses hand gestures and facial expressions to communicate instead of speaking words out loud. Will you show me how to say paint in sign language? That's right, paint. Today we're going to talk about feelings and emotions that can be represented by different colors. So usually the brighter colors are more energetic while the darker colors are more calming. So let's take a look and see what color I have first. What color is this? Red, you're right. 
Usually red is used to represent feelings of anger or aggression. The next color that I have is orange because orange is such a bright color. It is also a very energetic color. And here I have yellow. Yellow is also a very bright color. So it's a color used to represent feelings of happiness and also just a friendly color. Next I have green. Green is used to represent a natural color and also being outdoors. The next color that I have is blue. Blue is a very calming and inviting color. We have two more colors. Purple. Purple is a mysterious color. And the last color that I have is white. White is a very clean and healthy color. Do you have a favorite color that you like to use when you're working? What's your favorite color? My favorite color is green. Green is used to represent nature and the outdoors. And it's true. I love to be outside. Let's move on to today's work. For today's work, you will need a little bit of water, some paint, straws, and a piece of paper. So we are going to be doing some straw blowing paintings today. I have one of my straws and I'm going to hold one end with my finger over the top like this. And with the other end, I'm going to scoop out a little bit of paint and just put it onto my piece of paper. If you find that the paint is too thick, you can add a little bit of water to it. So now that I have a nice little pile of paint on my piece of paper, I'm going to blow through the other end. So I'm going to blow the air out. I definitely don't want to take a breath in, otherwise I'll get some paint in my mouth. But if I blow out like this and I aim the straw at the paint, watch what happens. <sighs> Look at that. Let's try another color. So I have a different straw and I'm going to use some yellow paint this time and just scoop it out. This time let's add a little bit of water. So I'm going to get some a little bit of water, mix it just to make it not so thick, and I'm going to blow through the other end of my straw again like this. Oh, that works so much better. So I suggest adding a little bit of water to the paint. Let's try one more color. I'll scoop some green. This paint is pretty liquidy. Let's try it out and see if I need to add some water. Not that time. There we go and we have some straw blowing paintings. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. I have a song to share with you, and it's all about the colors of the rainbow. It goes like this. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Makes a rainbow bright. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, give my video a big thumbs up, and find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive summertime classes. 
You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. Before we go, we have one last song to sing. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Join me next week as we continue this artistic exploration. Have a great weekend, everyone, and I'll see you on Monday.